Hi, my name is Donnie Arthur. I'm with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, Division of Sport Fish. In this video, we are going to tie an articulated flesh fly. The flesh fly is a staple fly when fly fishing in Alaska. This pattern mimics deca decaying salmon flesh and can be used to target rainbow trout, dolly varden, and other species in flowing water. I find this pattern to be particularly effective when fishing in rivers after salmon have completed their life cycle and when there are numerous salmon carcasses present in the stream. The flesh fly can be tied in a multitude of colors, ranging from more subdued colors like exhibited here to mimic more decayed flesh, or you could use brighter colors to mimic fresh flesh coming off a fillet table. Before we start tying, let's take a quick look at the materials we will be using today. For this fly today, we are going to be using two hooks because it is an articulated fly. These hooks are streamer hooks in the size 6 and they are 4XL, meaning they are 4 times long. We also will need thread, fly tying thread. This is particularly 6-aught uh, thread, but threads from 6-aught to 210 denier can be used. I am choosing white because we are using a more subdued colored flesh. Our next material will be the rabbit strips, also known as zonker strips. These make up the body of the fly and impart action on the fly. These are cross-cut, which allows for easier wrapping for the body of the fly. The last material we'll be using is the mar is marabou here, and we've selected peach to add a bit of color variation in the fly, and this will be tied in as a tail material. To connect our sh forward shank and our rear hook to make the articulation, we will be using fly line backing in 20 pound, you can also use 30 pound, to connect our two hooks. So there are a few last tools and equipment we will need today. The first is side cutting pliers, which will be used to cut the hook, the hook bend off of the forward hook. Our traditional sh uh, fly tying scissors. A bead, which is optional, but can add nice color variation in the fly. And lastly, some super glue to add durability to our fly. So to start our construction of this fly, we are going to start with the rear hook and we're going to start doing so by making a thread base on our fly and wrap towards the rear of the hook. And cut out our excess thread. The first material we're going to tie into this fly is some marabou as a tail. Start out by taking one piece of marabou, pitching down the fibers to the tip, and measure the marabou to be about the length of the shank. Mm -hmm. Switch hands by pinching the marabou, and we're going to tie in the marabou. A few strong wraps. You can cut out the excess material and continue to attach the marabou. And there is our tail. The me next material we will tie in is the rabbit strip and this will form the body of the fly. Attach the rabbit strip and wrap to the base of the marabou tail. Now that the rabbit strip is tied into the fly, wrap the thread towards the eye of the hook. Now we are ready to tie in our rabbit strip. As you tie it forward, lay each wrap of rabbit strip one next to each other. Each time you wrap, Pull the fibers of the rabbit strip back towards the tail and wrap all the way to the eye of the hook. As we wrap forward, we want to make sure that we stop short of the eye as not to crowd it. Now we are ready to secure the rabbit strip with our thread. If you feel like some material is starting to crowd the hook, just 
start to pull back the, the fibers of the rabbit strip and secure it with some strong wraps. The key thing about the flesh fly is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Flesh in nature is variant in color, variant in, in form and shape, and so per, do not strive for perfection with this fly. Just add a few couple extra wraps to clean it up. Now we are ready to whip finish our fly. For those of you that do not have a whip finish, you can simply apply some half hitches using your finger. And we will add some super glue to add increased durability of our fly. With that complete, we'll now move on to the next section of the fly. It can be a little tricky to work the backing material into the eye of the hook, but just be gentle. Now that I've inserted the fly line backing into the fly, I'm going to remove the fly from the vise and wrap that loop over the top of the fly, trying to avoid pinching any material. Okay, now we will pull the backing material tight in front of the eye of the hook. Now we are ready to add our bead and start the forward portion of our fly. We will insert the fly line backing into the hole in the bead and slide the bead down the backing. Now we are prepared to tie the forward section of our articulated flesh fly. I have inserted the second hook into the vise and now we'll begin the thread base just like the rear section before. Wrap to the curve of the hook and cut off your excess thread. Now we have to tie in our rear section of our articulated flesh fly to the forward hook. Do so by placing the backing over the shank of the forward hook and begin wrapping forward. And this is going to secure that backing to the forward hook. You want to make sure you get as many wraps as possible to make sure that rear section of the fly is attached. Once we have wrapped to the eye of the hook, securing the backing to the shank, we are going to double the backing through the eye Pull your tag ends of your backing towards the bend of the hook and continue to secure them in. Wrap all the way to the back of the hook. If you have excess backing material, go ahead and cut those off. We are nearing completion of the fly. Now we will tie in another rabbit strip just like we did on the rear hook. Go ahead and secure your rabbit strip with your thread and then wrap your thread towards the eye of the hook. Just like we did before, we will wrap the rabbit strip forward on the hook. We have reached the eye of the hook and now we will secure the material in. Now that we've secured the material, we can cut off, cut off the excess rabbit strip. And our fly is complete. And there you have it, our completed articulated flesh fly. Thank you for watching this video. 
For additional information on Fishing Alaska, please visit our website at www.adfg.alaska.gov. Good luck fishing!